everyone, I'm Kim Velasquez. I'm your instructor for your online Bio 101 course. Welcome. I know this is a crazy time and everyone is going through a lot of stuff right now. So I wanted to just take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the course. I know some of you have already started the course and have already actually taken some of the quizzes. Thank you so much for getting ahead of the, of the game and, and doing that already. But I also wanted to talk to you about some student resources that are available right now that you might need to take advantage of. So a little bit about myself. I am a full-time faculty member at Palomar. I primarily teach Biology 102, which is general biology for pre-health professionals, primarily nursing students, um, pre-dental hygiene, pre-vet tech students. And I love my face-to-face -face courses because I love interacting with students. But I also realized the extreme value of these online courses for you to be able to complete some of your course requirements without having to go to campus. So I really appreciate you being in my course. I'm here to help you any way I can. I am going to try to have regular office hours. I will be sending out Zoom meeting invitations for those. So you can join in and ask questions if you would like. And it just would be nice to interact with some of you and get to know you a little better. You don't have to be on video. You can just show your name. But I do ask that if you, if you join one of the Zoom meetings for office hours and you're joining by phone, please in the chat let me know who you are so that I know that you're okay to be in the meeting because we have had actually a lot of what's called Zoom bombing going on over the past two weeks with our online lectures. And um, some teachers at Palomar have had some really unfortunate things happen in their class with people coming on and doing some really rude and inappropriate things during their lectures. So anyway, enough of that. I'm going to share my screen with you because I do want to show you a few things on here. And I want to start not with the core stuff, but I do, I do want to start with this actually. Um, let me go back one. If you go to the Palomar homepage, there is a link to the Palomar College Foundation. And if you just you know, go to the alphabetical listing, you can find this. Palomar College Foundation helps students, not just with scholarships, but in situations like this, uh, we provide emergency aid to students. Um, and if you go to the bottom here, student emergency grant application, and you click on this, we do have emergency grants available to help students right now. We don't want finances to be the reason you don't continue your education right now. And we understand that times are more difficult than ever for students right now. So please take advantage of this resource. Hopefully some of you already have. But fill out this application. You can ask for a computer to continue your education. You can ask for textbooks or you can ask for emergency funds. So please don't hesitate to take advantage of that. We also have food available for students through our food bank. And we also have um, other funds available. So if you need resources, please don't hesitate to contact me and I can put you in touch with people who can help you get the, the resources you need right now to continue your classes at Palomar. Also, we have um, behavioral health counseling available and they're doing those sessions through Zoom also. So if you need to know about those resources, let me know. And also just our regular counselors are meeting with students by Zoom to talk about their ed plans and other things that might um, need to be done during this time when you can't be on campus. Okay, so let's look real quickly. I know you can all read what's on Canvas, so I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this, but I do wanna show you a couple of things that you might not have noticed. Obviously, the syllabus, please take the time to read the syllabus. Take the syllabus quiz. The reason for the syllabus quiz is because I'm not seeing you in person, I can't take attendance. And just because someone signs up for an online class doesn't mean they still intend to take the class. So it's my way of knowing who's kind of showing up the first day, symbolically showing up. Because if you don't take the syllabus quiz, then I'll assume that means you, you are no longer interested in taking the class and then I have to drop you from the class. So that's why that deadline comes up right away at the beginning. And then as you've probably noticed, for each module, there are one or more videos, and then you take the quiz. Um, sometimes there are additional resources. For example, this one has a periodic table because we're talking about the periodic table in this video. 
and that's the periodic table you'll need to look at. When you click on the quiz, some of the quizzes are multiple choice and some are not. So for multiple choice quizzes, there are a few things you should know if you haven't already started taking them. There is a time limit and that time limit will be stated um, when you click on the quiz. So time limit for this one is 15 minutes. There are seven questions worth two points each. No backtracking. What that means is you will see questions one at a time and once you answer that question, it's gone and you can't go back and see it again. Every student sees those questions in a different order. So if students decided to try to take their exam or quiz together, they wouldn't be seeing the same questions at the same time. And the order of the answers is scrambled for each student also. That's just to really cut down on students being able to take exams together. Also, once you start the quiz, you have to finish it. So don't think you can just answer a couple questions and then come back to it later. One of the most common questions I get is, can we use notes for quizzes? I obviously can't stop you from using notes for quizzes, so I might as well not make the requirement that you can't. Just know though, if you plan to use your notes, you need to be really, really organized because there is a time limit and those questions are not coming at you in the same order necessarily that they appeared in the lecture. So it, you couldn't just, for example, pick up your notes and start taking those quizzes not really knowing the material. You really need to know the material. And if, if you try that on one, you'll learn very quickly that that just doesn't work so well. There are also quizzes that are short answer though. And if, if we go back to just the, the modules here, I'm gonna go to properties of water. So see, sometimes there are more than one video in the unit. Um, that makes up the quiz. And then um, this one in particular is a short answer one, so I wanted to show, show you this one. Okay, so a couple of things. Number one, there is no time limit for this one because it is kind of a short essay. But the most important thing here is your answers must be how I presented the material in class. So if you were to look up properties of water on the internet and you were to get an answer from the internet and use that, I would know two ways because number one, it won't be exactly how I presented it in the lecture videos. And also I can tell that it's not in your own words because you are not scientific writers and <laughs> the way that stuff's written on a website is not the way a normal person would explain things. So I'm, I'm going to know that way, but also because there is a plagiarism checker in Canvas that will automatically alert me if a certain percentage of your words are exactly the same as an internet site or a, a textbook or some other source. So please make sure those answers are in your own words and please make sure you're answering those questions the way I presented the material in the lecture videos, not how you might see it in a textbook or some other way. So again, these short answer ones, no time limit, but you really need to make sure you put some thought into those answers and use your own words. Most of these lecture videos are mine, meaning it's me lecturing at a board with my slides. And for those, there is a lecture video transcript that I think is very helpful. It's not written like a textbook. It's exactly every word that comes out of my mouth in my lectures. And then it also has all the figures that I show on the screen. So a lot of students like to print this out, highlight it, um, take notes on, on the actual transcript and use that then to take their quizzes. So I highly recommend using this transcript um, as part of your study aid. And it's in two parts only because the file was too big to load onto Canvas. So that's why there's part one and part two. The videos are mine until you get to module 12. This one is mine, but then this is a PBS video. And then all of the evolution and ecology videos are not mine. But up until that point, all of the videos are mine. Okay, so your grade really is just the quiz scores. That's it. Um, the quizzes vary in points based on the fact that some of the modules are longer, more videos, and some of that material is more difficult. And so some of those quizzes have more points just because of that. If you have any questions, please, please, please don't hesitate to contact me. I will be having regular office hours. I'm assuming that most of you will not attend those, but don't hesitate to ask me questions anytime. 
we can get on Zoom and talk. We can have a phone conversation. I don't mind calling you or having you call me, or we can just talk by email either way. But I'm here to help any way I can, whether it's through resources that you need or discussions about the course material. Also wanted to let you know that the, the W deadline and the drop deadline for this class are, you know, they're scheduled, but the college is making exceptions right now. We have what's called an EW, which means emergency withdrawal. So if you start progressing through this course and something happens and you need to withdraw and you don't want that noted on your permanent record, please contact me and I'll help you figure out how to apply for that EW, which means it doesn't count as a course attempt and it's not the same as a normal W. Anyway, take care. I hope you and your families are safe and well. And please don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything. Okay, bye.